Hey there, email marketers. You're now on lesson four of the Email Power Profits. Uh, I hope this is serving you well because this is some great information. I wanted to talk real quick about um, optimizing and tracking or tracking and optimizing your emails and what that means and how, how you can use it to increase your profits. Uh, it's pretty well explained in the document, I think, but uh, sometimes if you hear it, you know, it's just a little easier. Basically, what tracking means is looking at the statistics that your email program will give you for things like open rates. Uh, you know, how uh, many times someone opens your email versus uh, uh, how many emails you send kind of thing. And obviously, the, the reason for looking at the open rates is to see how well your subject lines are pulling, right? Because if your subject line is not enticing the reader to want to read more, they're not going to open your email, okay? So email open rates are important. They're not probably the most important thing, but they're pretty important for just getting your emails read. Uh, anytime you can double or triple your email open rates, that's two or three times more people that are on your list that are actually going to see your uh, your email. Typical uh, marketers get a two to three to four percent open rate, but if you concentrate on your your headlines, you'll you'll be upwards of ten or even twenty percent. Uh, I've even got open rates up around fifty percent on very targeted emails. And that was because I looked at the, the headline from a critical point of view saying, hey, if I was a prospect, would I want to read more about whatever's inside of here based on this headline? OK, so that's just an example of headline. You can also track things like how many clicks you get to your links um, and things like that. That way you can tell if you're using embedded links, you know, with words instead of the link showing. You can tell which ones are working well, which ones are not working well. You can uh, do some A-B testing to see which ones click, get better click-throughs and, and which ones don't. Uh, again, if you track those things, uh, once you, you know, get your email program going and things like that, if you track those things, uh, you'll be able to make some adjustments. I, and I've gone to uh, double my, tr my click rates uh, just by doing A-B testing on headlines, for instance, or uh, click-throughs. So that, in other words, if 50% of the people would click it the first time, then 100% of the people would click it the second time, right? So you you, you definitely want to go for those those increases in click-throughs on, on your links and things, uh, your sales pages inside your emails, so that you can... Get a, get a higher number and make more sales. Anyway, I hope this helps in understanding the tracking and optimizing. It's basically, uh, it's real basic kind of uh, marketing, but most marketers don't get this far. If you can even break the surface on tracking and optimizing your, your click-throughs on email, you'll be a winning email marketer. Have a great day.